Welcome back to NSSF Friends with Benefits. My name is Crystal. Now remember that at the end of this show, we will be announcing the winner from last week's episode. But now, let's head to Mukono to meet our final contestant, Hannington Nkaivu, to find out what he did with his benefits. I'm a teacher by profession. I taught for about seven years. I left in 91 and joined TASO. I worked with TASO until 2013, when I voluntarily retired. Right from childhood, I have personal love farming. So my retirement was focused into that. Hello, you're welcome to Visare, my village. My name is Nkaiv Huntington. I received my age benefit, and this is my NSSF story. The process of getting my benefits from NSSF, I found it very, very transparent and easy. I think I received my money in, in around 10, nine to 10 days, and that was very efficient. When I got my benefit, I had already planned where I wanted to invest it, and basically, I wanted to invest in agriculture. The first thing I did with the money was to buy a pickup, and then I bought two tractors, first to plow for my farm, but also for hire, to make money. I wanted one, but because there were two, I was encouraged to buy all of them. Then I said, my target has changed, because I started looking for the market, a bigger market. We are plowed for, the tobacco growers in Kiriandongo and uh, around Masindi. In a day, a tractor can plow actually up to six acres. And per acre, we plow for 120,000 shillings. You can get on a daily basis like 300,000 if land was available and work was available per day. Last season, the demand was so overwhelming that I collected the little monies and had to buy a third one. The yield has brought other benefits. I bought bulls with the purpose of fattening them. And my plan is that uh, by the end of next year, I should be selling them and buy uh, a good breed that provides enough milk, maybe 20 liters. The bulls also are very important for me because I also grow bananas. So they provide the natural fertilizer. As a result of the benefits that I'm now getting from where I invested my money, I've got people who are ladies who want their children to, uh, to gain good education. So they come to me, okay, we shall be working in your gardens, take our children where they can get better education. The payment of school fees is to supply potato to the schools where they go and the children continue to, to study. Part of the benefits of the uh, tractor investment have helped me to renovate this house. So shelter has really improved because there is everything in there. Had I not saved my NSSF, I think my life wouldn't be as happy as it is. Personally, it has taken me miles people that plan to get this money from NSSF. If you get this money, have a plan for it. It's better the NSSF money is put into a project that has been running, so you're just boosting. Wow, what a story, what a story. Let's now welcome Huntington Kaivu to the show. <laughs> Welcome, please have a seat. You have been a very busy man, yes. clearly. Yes. It seems starting off with your first two tractors, then you got another tractor, then you got the cows. So are you happy with what you have done so far with your benefits? I'm very happy. Do I look like I have stress? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I must very say happy. no. You look Thank very you. relaxed. Thank you. Okay, so I am sure our, our judges have some questions for you. Mm -hmm. So I think we will start with who would like to go first today? Mabel, please. 
Uh, thank you very much, Huntington. Uh, your story is quite motivating. You have your hands full. You are doing a lot. But I wanted to ask um, if you won this money, 30 million or 15 or 10, what would you do? I want to expand my agriculture. Like you've seen in the story, uh, I have, uh, being that I worked with the TASO, I have already that passion for OVCs, orphans and vulnerable children. And I am supporting currently five girls to go to school. And what I've done, I've negotiated with a, a school where they go, uh, say that I take potato and then we, school fees is done, is calculated in kind. <laughs> okay, over to you, Paul. You mentioned something in your presentation. You said that uh, your advice to people retiring would be to take the NSSF money and invest it in going concerns. Could you please explain more on this going concern? Um, we should not really use um, NSSF money to try out business. I got actually NSSF three times. They gave me like 110, I don't remember because it is 13. And with the age, your dementia comes in. <laughs> but it was about, above 100. And my first thing was to buy that pickup, strategically. I was driving a small car, and I said, I don't need the small car anymore. Let me buy a multi-purpose. A pickup works in the farm, but the same pickup goes to Serena to eat uh, to Masapi. <laughs> <laughs> so you put your family in a pickup and, and comfortably. So I said that was strategic. That was my first thing. And recently, last year, I got a text message that, hey, uh, 800,000 has been credited. Is it crediting on your account? I said, is this a missed it, uh, SMS? Because it was a Sunday, moreover. Then until I called my colleague on Tuesday, he said, you never know go to NSSF. So I rushed to Chileka, forgetting that Mukono had an office. Rushed, rushed to Chileka, and the lady has said, oh, yeah, Huntington, what is your number? You have 1.8. And uh, even now, I'm expecting. <laughs> 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 and I want to assure you, not that I'm here for this competition, I have received my money in less than 10 working days in all the three rounds. So thank you so much, NSSA. Barbara, if any Ugandan who is watching wants to kick out poverty like you have said, what three key things should they do? The mind. Our mind works like a GPS. Is it a global positioning system? What you feed your mind is what comes out. When I was coming to NSS, the, me, I didn't know this program. I did my work without knowing. It was one, one morning when I was lying on my, uh, my bed as a retiree. In the morning, I saw the NSSF, we give prizes for those to try. And I said, oh. And the deadline was tomorrow. So I rushed that day and went. I said, I want to eat this money. <laughs> because I knew I had done it. So this. <laughs> so, so, and I know, by the way, my mind tells me, I'm going to eat this money. <laughs> Number two, having an understanding wife. If you're a man, <laughs> now. <laughs> so if you are impressed with Huntington's story and you would like to see him move forward in the competition, make sure you vote for him. Now to vote, simply go to your phone and dial star 254 hash and select friends with benefits. Tired of moving in search of financial assistance? Look no more. Post Bank Uganda has all the answers to your financial problems. No more queues. Sign up on Post Bank Mobile Phone Banking and dial star 263 hash to pay for bills like water, electricity, URA, passport fees, airtime, ETC. You can also make deposits on your account.
from your phone directly using mobile money services. We have early start accounts for children, school fees loans, group loans, etc. We provide agriculture loans to help farmers purchase seedlings, input, processing, production and marketing your agricultural produce. We also have mobile vans that serve our customers in the hard to reach areas. Call toll free 0800-21-7200 or visit any of our branches countrywide. Postbank is regulated by the Bank of Uganda. Postbank, empowering you. Thank you very much for voting. Remember, your voting does count, so make sure you vote for your favorite contestant. Now it's time for us to reveal the winner from last week's episode. Now the votes have been counted and verified by PricewaterhouseCoopers. Yes, it was episode seven where we had uh, Judith and Alusia. Now time to find out. Of course, we'd like to get some of the audience's thoughts here as to who they think will take it. Judith or yeah. Alusia? Yeah. Judith. Alusia, Judith. Let's get into it. Okay. And the winner from last week's episode, moving forward to the final eight contestants, is... <laughs> Judith Sheena! <laughs> Congratulations, Judith, and uh, we'll see you in the next round. But back to today's show and our final contestants. Now, we met Patrick Okello, who used his age benefits to invest in a peanut butter as well as forestry, and he built rentals. And we also spoke with Hannington in Kayuvu, who used his benefits to buy tractors, to go into land, to go into cattle. So many things. And sugar bo cane. Both of them said women are very important mm -hmm. because they do play a huge role, both Patrick and Huntington meant that. So ladies out over there, well done for making sure that happens. <laughs> Now, do remember that your votes are very important. The contestant who receives the highest number of votes from this episode will make it to the final eight. That's right. And we'd like to say a big thank you, of course, to our judges, the fantastic four over there doing their thing. We do appreciate it. To you, the audience, and to you, the viewers at home as well. Thank you very much for your votes. They did count. Now remember, this is so important, save with NSSF. You do not want to be that person that retires into poverty. And for those of you saving now, plan, 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 plan for your benefits. We shall be back next Sunday. Special thanks to Afros and more for hair and makeup. The voting lines are and now open. open. Until next Sunday, I want to say thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your whatever you're going to do. You've been watching Friends with... Benefits! Bye-bye.